Alright, today in I Bomber Defense Pacific, we're going to be covering Mission 8, which is Operation My Counterattack. And our secondary objective here is to protect the planes. Um, our upgrades, as you can see, is 3 machine gun with times 2 power guns, flaming units, 3 cannon, 2 bomb, 2 flamer, 3 on comms. And our perks are going to be greenback 1 and eagle eye 1, plus special delivery. And go ahead and play. Alright, as you can see, we're already starting off with uh, everything we had before um, in this map. It's changed slightly as to uh, the area that we're focusing on. Um, but pretty much everything that we have already is going to be really helpful in. Um, protecting us from uh, the naval units that come during this mission. And those two bombs I dropped um, were to help destroy those supply crates, but I had to kind of be careful there not to harm the planes, because um, that's something we had to watch out for, not to drop bombs too close to them. Anyway, I'm just broken up in those two crates, and start working on another crate. As you can see, those naval units are pretty well handled. You've got a flamer, machine gun, uh, comms, and cannon up top. Um, and actually, that top um, line of turrets uh, that are covering the ground path heading towards the base, that cannon there will be able to fire on um, units heading along the south path as well, which is very useful. Um, something to keep in mind. However, the southern cannon cannot fire on the northern path. So we place that third cannon there, and what that's going to do is destroy those supply crates and serve as backup defense. Go ahead and place that comms tower. Down at the southern part, and upgraded that to level 2. And we're going to start making some decent interest here soon. And we're well ahead of the game here. And some of those planes are going to get shot up, but the important part is to protect uh, a handful of them rather than all of them. Because uh, you don't want to spread yourself out too much. But placing the cannon, or turrets rather, where we did is going to work towards that. And I've got the. Uh, Island comms to level 3, working on upgrading the uh, turret cluster a little bit more, and dropping some bombs on those sneak attacking destroyers, especially that one that was out of range um, from the majority of the turrets there. We've upgraded that other comms, so you got two level 3 and one at level 2. comms is a big help. And as you can see that backup cannon is helping against the sneak attack that came in. I'm going to use a well placed bomb to take out that extra tank that was a little bit out of range there. We're already halfway through here. build up a nice little supply of money now so we can start earning as much interest as possible which interest by the way caps out at uh, 60 so you, if you're earning 60 interest um, then you can spend more of your money uh, not have to worry too much but um, I wouldn't save much more than whatever is earning you that 60 because the rest is going to be kind of wasted uh, if not spent on turrets anyways Unless you're just trying to get a higher score by saving up money. Either way, um, as you can see, now it's just uh, slower units, so the waves are taking a little bit longer, but we're still handling them with pretty much ease. Start working on another. 
another base there. I'm starting with a comms tower because I want to earn the interest. And there's actually no hidden target on this counterattack mission, I should point out, by the way. It's one of the few missions that does not have one. Because technically we already took out the hidden target here, which was an orange building. We destroyed uh, the first time over here. Either way. In the final stretch. It's just pretty much putting uh, money into upgrading those cannons, uh, any other turrets that haven't been upgraded yet, and building up as much interest as possible. And as you can see, I'm not using my bombs anymore, so um, basically that means that, you know, that's extra leeway in case something does slip through. Um, you have those bombs to fall back on, which is always very nice. Let's go ahead and use some to help speed things along here. It's always a good thing to have a turret defense that works without having bombs, and just using bombs is that um, second chance if uh, something goes horribly wrong and one unit manages to slip past your defenses. Or if you manage to uh, meet an un unexpected surprise attack. As you can see, our biggest uh, problem here is just keeping turrets repaired now. Because even though we're handling things well, they're doing a lot of damage to those turrets. Especially with these later waves. And we need to avoid losing any of the turrets to get all the medals for the mission. And now we're finally on wave 20. So we've cleaned up all the ground units. I'm just waiting for these last uh, destroyers to be wrapped up. And that's it, full house. And you get the Geronimo achievement for completing the first counterattack mission, which this was. But that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and uh, see what to spend victory points in. I think I'm going to put into flamers here. Yep. Alright, that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching this video.